Blockchain developers have been using testnets for years as a sandbox environment for implementing our own code. But for end users, it can provide a DeFi playground where we can experiment with the latest protocols in a risk-free environment. My name is James Puccini, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up MetaMask to use a testnet. We're then going to be visiting one of the Ethereum testnet four sets to get some free tokens to play around with. And then finally, we'll look at some of the DeFi protocols that we can use and experiment with. Let's get started. So what is a testnet? Well, when we're moving funds around on a layer one like Ethereum or Solana, we're generally using the mainnet. When those funds are real, we're using the main network. A testnet is just a copy of the mainnet, which is used mainly by developers, but also by end users as well, to experiment and do things in a risk-free environment. The funds hold no value. The core layer one development team will normally set up a distribution mechanism such as a faucet to give away free tokens on the testnet, so that users can use those to deploy contracts and experiment as they see fit. Platform and protocol developers will normally deploy their contracts to the testnet first before they go live on mainnet. So if you know how to use this, you can actually experiment with new protocols before they go live on the main network. Okay, so if we go into MetaMask, let's zoom in here a little bit. You can see our Ethereum mainnet is the network we're connected to at the top. If we open this up, we can see there's some test networks directly underneath that. You might not have all of these. I think I've added some along the way when I've been doing different videos. But we've got the Ropston testnet, the Coven testnet, the RinkB testnet, and the Gorelli testnet. Pronunciation probably not great. I think they were named after tube stations. So on Ethereum, we actually have four different testnets, and it's all a little bit disintegrated. And some protocols will launch on one, and some protocols will launch on the other, and then some of the major protocols like Uniswap will launch on four. My favorite testnet to use is the Coven testnet. So let's select that. And you can see I already have some funds in my account but I'm gonna want a little bit more. So let's go and, so if we go to Google and we type Coven Testnet Faucet, and the first URL that comes up is this gitter.am one. So there we go, we signed to this gitter messaging platform. And all the Testnet Faucets are a little bit different. You sometimes you have to post a kind of social media message with your account. But this one, you just have to post a message into the chat box. So we're gonna copy our address from here, click to copy. We're gonna go down and paste this in here, press enter. And it comes up with confirmation, F drop, sent. And if we go back into our wallet now, let's open this up on Etherscan. You'll notice it's actually opening up the Coven testnet version of Etherscan, which is just coven.etherscan.io. It's a completely separate network, so you won't find a transaction on the main etherscan.io domain. Fresh this and wait for the transaction to come in. And there we go, they sent us 0.001 Ether. Which isn't a lot, but it's enough to deploy a few contracts. And if you need more than that, you can actually go to the Coven testnet full set page and you can go down and there's different ways you can kind of get larger amounts if you're experimenting with liquidity pools or something that requires a lot of EFA on the testnet. So now we have some funds in our account. Let's try going to Uniswap. Let's launch the app. You can see at the top here, it's already selected us as Coven. So because we're connected to the Coven network in MetaMask, Uniswap has detected this, and we're actually using the Coven version of Uniswap here. So we can go ahead and select a token, and let's swap 0.01 ETH for DAI. Bear in mind that the prices are not accurate at all. No one arbitrages the uh, testnet tokens, so they get out of sync quite a lot. We can make that transaction. We can add DAI to MetaMask as well. Can you see that's gone through? And if we go into our wallet now, you can see I think I already had some DAI in here already, but you can see we purchased some testnet tokens on Uniswap. If you hadn't used Uniswap before, then this is a great way to try and test it out using play money and not have to pay high gas fees per transaction and get a feel for how it works. 
We can obviously also set up liquidity pools. I'm going to set up a quick liquidity pool for the FDI pair that I just traded. Full range. And there we go, we set up a liquidity position for DAI WEF pair using the test net where the funds aren't actually valuable and we can experiment with that as we like. Okay, let's take a look at another example. This is Compound Finance. This is a borrowing and lending market. You can go into the app. Let's try depositing some EFA. Zero one. Confirm that transaction. You can see here it's now calculated we've got $2 worth of EFA in the compound protocol. We can use this collateral. Let's try borrowing some DAI. So there you go, we've, we've supplied $2 in Ethereum, and we're borrowing $1 in DAI stablecoin. And you can see this is just a great way to get a feel for how a protocol works quickly and easily without actually using your own money to test it. But what about if we want to use a test net for something different, say Binance Smart Chain? You can see I have the Binance Smart Chain mainnet here, but I don't have the testnet network. So if we go to crosschaintraffic.com, go to testnets, and we can add the BSC testnet here. Let's check that looks okay and approve that network. We're also connected to it. Let's get some Binance Smart Chain Testnet for set. Let's copy our address. The funding request has gone through. And now we've got one TBNB, which is a one testnet BNB. Perfect. So let's go over to the Venus protocol and open the app. This is a borrowing and lending platform on Binance Smart Chain. Uh, you're currently using Binance Smart Chain test network. Uh, it doesn't look like it's available for Venus. Let's just try one more thing. Let's type in testnet.venus.io. So you seem to have a testnet user interface set up at testnet.venus.io instead of app.venus.io. Pretty standard. So we've connected our wallet. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Let's try and deposit some BNB. Also add that, make that available as collateral. You can see we've got a supply balance now. Let's try borrowing some Teva. So you can see we've supplied $40 worth of BNB and we've borrowed one US dollar worth of US dollar Tether. But obviously these funds aren't real and they're just testnet tokens that we can use to play around with and get a feel for how a protocol and a platform works. Hopefully this has provided some insights into how you can explore the world of decentralized finance from the comfort and safety of a testnet environment. If you're interested in learning more about blockchain technologies then subscribe to the channel. There's more information on testnets in the blog post link in the description. And don't forget to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching.